What's going on guys? Louis is here to show you the HM3110 meshing without surfaces. Today we're going to learn how to create a 2D mesh using only the line components of the model. What might be useful to speed up the meshing process if you're doing the CAD inside HyperMesh. So let's get right to it. We'll start by retrieving the bracket.hm model file and we'll begin the meshing process creating washers around the holes. Two of the holes already have washers and we're going to create a new for one that doesn't have it. So in the tool page, go to the scale panel, set the entity selector to lines. Click on uniform and set the size to 2.0, which will make the washer twice as big as the hole. And now we need to find a circle center to make the scaling. So go to the distance panel by pressing the hotkey F4 and select three node sub panel. With the N1 selector active, press and hold the left mouse button over the edge of the hole and release it. Left click anywhere on the edge to set the node for N1, N2 and N3. Then click circle center and it's created. Now we can return to the scale panel, select the lines, duplicate to current component, then select the node for the origin node and scale plus. Let's actually create the mesh now. Go to the 2D page, spline panel, select the edges and the washers of all circles, then select the mesh delete surface option, clear the keep tangency box and click create. To create a radial mesh, enter 8 in the element density field and set all to, then click mesh and return. Now we'll mesh the rest of the top surface. We should still be in the splines panel, so select the border lines and the washers lines then click create and we will accept it the way it is now. Let's now mesh the vertical face using another method. Go to the line drag panel, drag geoms sub panel and set the drag selector to line list. Select the line adjacent to the existing mesh, then activate the long line list selector and pick one of the vertical lines. Leave the options Use Default Vector in Mesh Without Surface, then click Drag. Again, we will accept this created mesh. We can use another method to mesh the bottom surface. So go to the Ruled panel, set the Entity Selector to Node List, By Path, and pick the two nodes on the edge of the face. Then set the bottom Entity Selector to Line List, and pick the opposite edge. Switch to the option mesh without surface and check the auto reverse box. This auto reverse option ensures that the elements are generated with a similar order on each side of the mesh, so preventing the mesh to cross itself. So you guys can try to uncheck the auto reverse box and see for yourselves how the mesh is created but we're not going to do it right here, so just click Create and then Return. And at last, we'll mesh the rib using the Skin panel. So with the Line List selector active, pick any two of the lines of the ribs, switch to the Option Mesh, Delete Surface, leave the Auto Reverse box checked, and click Create. And we're done. So that was it for this tutorial. I hope it can be useful to you someday. So if you liked it, leave, leave your thumbs up to help the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.